Hey, Angela, hey, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for making some time today. Thank you, Jamie. Awesome, awesome. Hey, um, I know it's uh, been an incredible journey for you and, and Flo and, and building that up and getting it out to the, to the world and now obviously bringing Winston into the screen, showing him <laughs> off to, the, to all the listeners and viewers out there. Um, but before we get into, into Flo and uh, learning all about that and all the amazing stuff you've done there, we do this incredible thing called Rapid Fire at the start of every episode where I ask some quick questions. You're going to give me some quick answers. I've got about 15 of them. They're all pretty okay. fun, so don't Let's stress too do much. It. All right, you, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Done. Favorite song right now? <laughs> give me something. This is rapid fire question number one. I'm still stumped. Favorite song through. right now. If you're going to put on a playlist, going to put on a feel good song, you just close the deal. You're like, I'm going to play a song. Oh my God, who have we got? <laughs> Skip, I'll come back. <laughs> All right, we'll come back to that one. Favorite movie? Is Notebook. Notebook. Favorite book? Is, um, is it next to my bed? No. Um, Alchemist. Yes, nice one. Favorite color? Purple. Go to meal? Is Japanese. What Japanese though? Like, is there like a particular dish? Um, I like, well, I'm pescatarian, so. Nice. Um, no, just really good fresh fish. Nice. Fresh fish. That's it. Yeah. It has to be Japanese <laughs> fresh fish. That's it. I like it. Favorite TV show? Oh gosh, I don't watch a lot of TV. Um, yeah, I don't watch TV. I don't have one. Like Home and Away or something? No, I haven't watched that since I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back to that one as well. We're coming back. Your first job? Was um, at a food court making kebabs. Nice. <laughs> food court kebabs. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> Your biggest celebrity slash sporting idol growing up? Damn, I like the Spice Girls. <laughs> Was there one? Um, Was it yeah, the go-to? I, I like Posh. Posh? I was a Posh girl. Yeah, totally. <laughs> what a vibe. Angela, <laughs> what is a pet hate of yours? Uh, dishonesty. Nice. Are you more of a book or audio book person? Book. Summer or winter? Ah, uh, 100% summer. Well, that was an easy one. <laughs> what is something that you haven't done yet that you really want to do though? I need to learn to swim. <laughs> need to learn to swim? Yeah. I so does that learn. mean that you don't know how to swim? I don't know how to swim. What do you classify yeah. as swimming? Like freestyle or like you can get like doggy paddle? Butt. Yeah, I don't even have the basics. Oh, wow. Okay. Did you not yeah. do swimming at school? No, I did not. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Fun fact. Learn to, absolutely fun fact. <laughs> Learn to swim. You watch all the people message you now and be like, hey, I can teach you how to swim. Hey, come to the beach. I'll show you how to swim. Yeah, look, everyone's tried. Good on you guys. Help me out. <laughs> I like it. Have you actually never wanted to learn or you've never made the time? No, I just any death experiences as a child and then the parents kept me away from the water so okay okay well that makes sense there's something behind it all okay yeah. well hopefully we can um we can demyth that and I'll we can get you in up. the water it's it's my dream i like it i like it <laughs> sum up your mindset in one word um i am a Oh my God, the words lost me. When you keep on going, what's that word? Determined, driven. Persistent. Persistent. Yes. Nice. What's been your proudest moment personally and in proudest moment professionally to date? Personally is self growth. I've, yeah, it's been humongous in the last handful of years. Um, professionally has been flow just yeah someone who had zero business background and and actually giving it a go um i'm super proud well done huge effort and like you said there just giving it a go i think you learn so much just by getting in the in the game 
compared yeah. to uh, sitting in the stands watching. I love that. Angela, tell us something that no one knows about you. And you can't say you don't know how to swim because you've already told us that. I know, I gave that one away, <laughs> didn't I? <laughs> um, that no one knows. That's a hard one. Oh. Um, I think many don't know I have skills in soccer. <laughs> what does um, skills mean? Like good? Like good, good? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay for, I was going to say for a girl, that's pretty bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, I, I, yeah, I think I don't look like I'm sporty, but the, there's some skills there. So have you ever played professional, not professional, like as in like no, but yeah, the yeah. W League, like, but like you yeah. used to play like at a local club or something? Yeah, indoor, indoor soccer. Nice. Mm. So there's maybe an exchange. You can teach someone how to play soccer and then they can teach you how to swim. Very happy to. I, I like, like that. that. That's a fair exchange. <laughs> Three questions to go. If you could choose to have lunch with any one person in the world, you've got a two hour time limit. It could be dead or alive. You can bring anyone back from the past. Who would it be? And where would you go? Um, Marilyn Monroe intrigues me for some reason. Marilyn and Monroe, I like that. Yeah. And I think we would be at a cute cafe somewhere in France. <laughs> oh, France. Yes. I thought you were going to say like LA or something, like, you know, with that drive, no, but I'm France. I like that. I yeah. like that. Marilyn Monroe in France. <laughs> what, would you, what would you ask her? Um, I don't know. Does she, does she regret the path she took? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Touching on the heart straight away. Just straight in there. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. I like it. I like it. Second last question. What was 10-year-old Angela like? Oh, she was <laughs> deadly shy. Deadly, deadly shy. Um, yeah, barely whispered, honestly. Really? Um, yeah, I was, yeah, just awkward, honestly. <laughs> Love that. Awkward, yeah. Was that like, and, and then was that something you carried on for a while or like did that yeah. like disappear after school? No, honestly, I worked on that well and truly into my 20s. So, um, no, always in the shadows and, um, yeah, let everyone else speak for me really. So I, I was I was very shy, yep. We can touch on that a little bit more on how you went on that journey to, <laughs> to, to be the person you are now. Um, yeah. Last question from me here in Rapid Fire. Quick one, easy one, fun one. Who is your favorite superhero? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. We got to represent the women. Absolutely, absolutely. Hey, that is rapid fire. Well done. Uh, you can you. add that to the resume now. Uh, actually, sorry, we got to go back. Your favorite song right now. I know. Don't think you're gonna get out of that. I know. Do you know I'm terrible with music? That's that's probably fun fact for everyone. All right, terrible. you don't have to give me the song. You don't have to tell me the name. Maybe you can just sing it instead. <laughs> that's even more. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna lose everyone after this one. i'm gonna lose all my subscribers everything um who am i liking oh my god oh my god can you help me out <laughs> uh not really this is your rapid fire i can't I know, think what my favorite song is my song list I have to go into my song list to All right, what up. we're going to do, I'm going to give you another half an hour. We'll get through the conversation and no. then we're going to come back to it. No, so in yeah. that time, task Winston to go and find your favorite song. Yes, he's <laughs> going to have a nap now. So. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Love that. But hey, like I said earlier, um, well done and congratulations. You even mentioned as one of the proudest moments personally, as, oh, sorry, and professionally as well to, to launch Flow, get it out there. And it has been definitely a challenging two years with the, the lockdowns and the whole COVID impact has had on small business and to still come out on the other side, I think it's a, it's a massive feat and yeah. achievement. So am I right in saying that it's Australia's only non-nicotine vape? I believe so, unless something else has popped up. So yes. On so the I am correct in saying that. Love yes. that. All natural nicotine free. How? Um, what and how did you get into it? You know, yeah, completely by fluke. I'm, I am not a smoker, um, though I don't believe, you know, that that's not what they were created. Um, but it was just lost my job 
in the the big sort of lockdown as soon as sort of COVID um, hit. Um, and then, yeah, we were home in lockdown and something very similar sort of popped up and I had a look at that. And once I started researching, I was like, this isn't in Australia and this wow. is so cool. And once I, I was originally only bringing out sleep yep. um, and I had seen something overseas, but they were very much mimicking cigarettes and okay. looking at a cigarette and, and that, which um, I didn't want mm. to do. Um, and then literally did not stop day and night during that lockdown, finding suppliers um, and then stumble across my one who was able to help me out with the formula and with um, the vape itself. Nice. And yeah, we were able to create um, some different flavors as we know we've got the, the sleep energy and relax and I had to sort of change sleep, unfortunately, very last minute because it had melatonin in it. Yep, so yep. stuff um, I couldn't have in, in my one. But, um, <laughs> yeah, we started off with sleep and then I really wanted to sort of bring out a, a range and sort of just see how they go. So, so yep. it's one for each um, sort of part of the day, I guess. So, totally. You know, yeah, definitely. Um, and I don't know. Yeah. I love that. So basically, in a way, you came across something similar. You had just lost your job. Yeah. You were like, hashtag fuck it. I'm going to go and research some more. Yeah. And then you basically yeah. got your hand, you found an incredible supplier to work with, manufacturer, yeah. and then you what launched the brand, did some promotion, yes. put the website and went to town on it. Yeah, I always wanted to be, uh, I always wanted to own um, or create a business, but there was never, I guess, let's call it time, but we had mm -hmm. all the people in the world during lockdown, Absolutely. it was the opportunity to give something a go. Mm, um, mm. Everything was really quite online and obviously it's really merged so much more so on online. So I, and then once I saw that it was not in Australia, I mean, I do understand why it's not here now, uh -huh. but yeah. um, that was a massive motivation. I mean, Love from that. the time concept to developing and launching was like four months. Wow. So I- It's pretty quick in a way. It was very quick. It was, yeah. it was um, considering how much the back and forth of negotiating mm, 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 with the supplies, mm. but um, yeah, we turned it around. I turned it around fairly quickly, so I'm um, very Love happy. That. And well done. Literally created everything from scratch. So, like I said, didn't want it to look like a cigarette. Um, I it's love definitely very classy. I, I it's yeah. very sleek. Yeah, I went that the matte black. I'm very yeah. much black black girl. Um, didn't want to promote really like cigarette. I guess. Totally. Love the fact that you know intake's super quick. That's the mm. point of that's mm. the point of why mm. I love the product. Um, and obviously, it's got real things in it, so it's got vitamins and um, yeah, yeah, definitely. And good so, stuff. So you l losing your job? Did you think about going back into the industry, going back into your job, or were you like committed to doing this? Like, how did it? Initially, yeah, I thought, yeah, we'll wait out. I guess none of us knew how long um, this yeah, is going to be. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, it was sort of one month, two months passing. I'm like, mm, this ain't looking good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, once it was something like this and it's never happened before where this idea popped in my head and I wasn't able to shake it. And I mm. just, until it was created, I didn't stop. So, um, you know, it pushed itself really. So, um, yeah, we really wanted to give it a go. So pre you, because I... I want to quiz you on this moment in that particular time a little bit more is because I can, and you probably hear it a lot. I hear it a lot. People out there, it's like, oh, I work full time. haven't got time to start a business. Yeah. In that period before you lost your job and before you had started flow, had you thought about this at all? Like, were you even looking at it, thinking about it, researching it or? Had to was say it... not at all. Like I said, always were you thinking about mind. business? Were you looking at starting one? Were you, was it kind yeah, of? Yeah, not looking, but always in the back of my mind, I thought of something, mm. let's call it down the track totally. um, I thought I'll do mm. yeah um because you know I was all about like lifestyle and you know I didn't want to be bogged down or anything totally. Totally. Um, when I got the wedge. <laughs> so you know I had the time and absolutely uh, and then yeah the motivation was high at that point that. so uh, yeah it it's all good when worked you, out it's, it's, just yeah it's good when you hit, you find that thing it was like you found that thing that you're passionate about and then like that four months probably flew by and it was as hard as it may have been, it was probably in yeah. a way easy as well because it's like, I want to do this. Definitely. I mean, there was so many tears. <laughs> there was Love so it. much 
down in, in the pro in the whole process you know the yeah. negotiating back and forth things sort of not not working out the way it did delays in um the supplier mm. all that but um my motivation in my um i don't me believing in my product pushed me all all that way, all through. way through yeah and all those things happen for a reason like you know ingredient changes recipe changes for the better you know yeah. like i'm sure your product is better now because of it there was that yeah and look couple days away. To keep learning um Absolutely. along the way so um you just got to keep pivoting you know Love when that. something comes up and um Absolutely. many times I probably wanted to give up in the back of my mind mm -hmm. but i mm -hmm. invested so much energy and i really 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 do believe in um the brand so Love that. Here we are. so why tell us why flow is good for you Someone um, listening is like, oh, cool. Yeah, I've seen the whole vape thing. Everyone's got it. Everyone's talking yeah. about it. It's like a buzz thing at the moment. Yeah. But why well, is flow was, different? That was the point. Like I could see um, the popularity in vaping, mm. uh, obviously. And then uh, the popularity in health, quite frankly. So it merged the two once I researched it and um, understood that, you know, inhaling is a quicker intake for you within five minutes. You, you get the good stuff in mm. you other than taking a pill before bed and letting that digest for, you know, 30 minutes, an hour before bed, you can, you know, puff, puff when you're sleeping, you're sort totally. of not. So, um, loved the, the concept of it, honestly, that it's quick, it's in your pocket. Um, something slick that you can keep Cost on effective as well. Yeah. All, all that sort of stuff had yeah. out, um, with you and yeah, it's, it's, yeah, quick intake basically. That's um, the biggest, the biggest benefit. Of, what was that? Sorry. Like a fun way of doing it. Oh, exactly well. right. And it's a fashion. It's almost like a fashion statement in a way. Everyone's carrying a, a vape around, but why not have a a, a better looking one? Yes. Your your journey in ecom, you know, e-commerce is a beast of its own, and mm -hmm. it's still a somewhat new thing. But a lot of people are doing some really well things. A big thing. Sorry on on in the e-com space, what has been your journey like? Like Again, pre-Flow, had you had any experience, done any research? Uh, no, I am really illiterate <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to Love these it. things. Like it, it really has been a struggle for me. It's been overwhelming, as I said, many, many, many tears. When you don't understand it, it becomes mm. very overwhelming. Um, and to this day, it still is to tell you the truth. Mm. I know where my strengths are now. Yeah. Um, that's knowing my product and, and pushing my product. But um, yeah, that, that other stuff sort of goes over my head a bit. <laughs> yeah. um, and I did, did try with a few companies um, to help me out with that sort of stuff. But that was a fail as well. So many, many trial and errors with um, this business and, and how to push it and, and that sort totally. of stuff. How to best position it, market it, brand it, frame it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The e-com world for you, like what's been the biggest learning or what's been your biggest surprise about it? Because again, I, I know people will be tuning in, listening and watching and saying, cool, you know, I've got this idea of a clothing idea or a beauty mm -hmm. or skincare, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I want to get into this e-commerce thing because it is the way to go. Like it's definitely the way of the future. Mm -hmm. What have been some of your personal learnings and, and like, what, what advice would you give to someone when they first get in? Maybe they're as green as what you were when they first yeah. started. Yeah. Um, look, I've had a few people reach out to me saying, you know, I want to start something, um, but I don't know how or whatever. And I do give the secret away of check out overseas. They're well ahead of us. Mm. Um, see what's going on there, what the fad is over there. We're, you know, Absolutely. a little bit behind in Australia. Um, I'm a little bit different, my story, because this is a restricted product. I've been very restricted the whole way through. I can't advertise like everyone else and um, do things like everyone else. So that's another thing you need to really research. I knew I was going to have limitations. I didn't know I was going to have to this extent, yeah. the many that I have. Wow. Um, but again, me being so, so, um, you know, proud of what it is. I, I really wanted to get that out there. So I'm constantly hurtling th through those ones, but have a look at what overseas is doing, what's their angle, be a bit different. Um, mm, if, mm. But you've got to also have a passion for it too. Mm. Um, like I said, although I'm not a smoker, I was very passionate about what this does. The health benefits. And, what yeah. It is and, and, and yeah, bringing that out to um, Australia. So, yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Def I agree. <laughs> Definitely look overseas. Look overseas for sure. Yeah. You know, especially coming out of China, they have those big market, big uh, expos and festivals yeah. where they're looking at products that are we've never seen before. 
you know, 100%. you could be the first person to uh, to bring it yeah. over, in, in, yep. which is Again, exactly what you've done. You've got to look, uh, like I said, um, to why it's possibly not here. Um, so there might mm. be reasons for that, but they Good are point. just Good well point. and truly ahead of time. For, so, yeah. It's, yeah especially it's in the tech perfect. space as well. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes you even go on Alibaba and you see some of the stuff from, that's on there and it's like, wow, I didn't even know that existed. That's it, Alibaba. And that's, and that's, that's, a, that's, that's a taste of it. That's not even the... That's yeah, it. Wow. Yeah. You've mentioned there a few times there was like lots of tears, lots of challenges in that first, you know, in that initial four months to getting it off the ground. I'm sure there's been lots of challenges, like you said, that you've learned around the marketing side of things as well. How do you push through that though? Because I find that's where people give up. Just through um, working with my clients and seeing what they've done. It's, it's that first part where it sounds yeah. exciting. Get yes. in the water, too cold, yeah. get out. Yes, 100%. Um, I think initially I was just so in love with the idea and that really got me through that whole part of the neg negotiation. I mean, that was painful. That was very, very, very painful part. Um, uh, so, so it was me more having the, the um, excitement of the idea. Mm. And then once you start laying down the money, that's then a different um, story. And that's when you're really like, I've now invested my savings. Totally. This is real now. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. I need to make this work. Um, yeah. So many yeah. times I've wanted to give up. I'm like, you're not. <laughs> you're, just, yeah. you're not. Yeah. Have, you know, there's times I've had breaks to, to do, to be honest. I've had some time off where I'm like, let me just reset because I'm, nice. I'm out at this point. So there's been a couple of, couple of uh, breathers um, in that time. You need to have that though. Like that's not even in business, it's in life. You know, it's, it's becoming <laughs> a more mainstream thing to do, which is to have some time yeah. off. Yes. Um, and really, really helped. It really, it really mm. did. I needed a breather as soon as I sort of um, did all that negotiation and like my brain was absolutely fried. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. And then sort of the whole push initially. Um, mm. And then once mm. I started to hit all my restrictions, that was, it was really gut-wrenching for me. I was like, this is such a disappointment. But, mm. um, you know, press pause, reset the brain. Totally. And we came back and I'm totally. so happy. Well done. Well done. Like, what's your mindset like then? Because obviously it takes someone, like you said, persistence is, you know, some mindset in one word. There's got to be some sort of willingness, drive, mm -hmm. determination. Is that Angela as a, on a day in, day out? Like, was that Angela pre-business? Was that Angela? Yeah, like yeah I've got to say um, it's, it's in my personality. There is nothing <laughs> I won't start mm. and that won't be successful quite frankly or won't I won't put my absolute all in and I can say I did everything I could yeah even if it fails yeah. at the end I did everything yeah. I could yeah um so that. that's definitely me what do you where did you develop that though because again I, I want people to listen to this and say like okay cool I'm not quite where Angela was but you know I can get to that stage by doing this 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 and this or I can learn this skill or Persistence. Yeah. Oh, cool. Is that what it takes? I'm going to keep showing up and you keep turning up. That's yeah. ultimately what it takes. Like there's no yeah. special hack, which you've probably learned. Mm -hmm. You just got to turn up every day. And if you don't feel like turning up, accept it, address it and be like, okay, cool. I'm going to have mm -hmm. half a day off, a day off, a week off, whatever. Like you said, mm -hmm. to pause, reset, come back stronger. Yeah. You know, so for you, like, how do you develop, how did you develop that mindset? How do you maintain that mindset? How do you still mm -hmm. turn up today? So, so for me, it's my personal journey of, I've got to look after me. So mm. I've been living at a home from, for a long time now. Um, so as a young pup and I've had the grind from very, very uh, young. So no one's putting a roof over my head and putting food in front of me unless I'm doing it. So mm. Um, mm. I won't uh, stop until I'm comfortable. So um, that's, mm. that's really my story, honestly. Not letting... Uh... Not leaving it out of your control. I think that's the, the like you, you got to control the controllables. And you got to do everything you can to. It's up to you. It's it's um you know, intake versus you know outtake. Absolutely. It's, it's yeah. what you put in, you will get out what you put in. Um, I love what you said there. It's up to you. Like I, I think people are again. You tell me your experience. Like you talking to friends, getting all the messages online and stuff. I think people mm -hmm. sort of feel like there's this like this one magical way that you do it and it's, it might be a one phone call or one communication or one message or just one person. Like there is no one else but you, you know, like mm -hmm. especially in this mm -hmm. world, like you have to turn up daily. Yeah. You have to do the small things daily that, yeah. It's like great that. to 
support and we all do all go, you know, family. 100%. 100%. But, you know, it is you at the end of the day. So, um, you, you know, you want to put in the extra work and the extra hours and totally. a little less sleep and what it, and then, mm, you know, mm, you get that. Mm. No one else is going to be doing that for you, or 100%. you can. <laughs> and there are some lucky ones. But, Absolutely. Um, you know, Very small percentage though. But that, yeah. I think that's the difference between living that sort of average, mediocre, everyday sort of mundane life compared to living just like that 1% better. Yeah. Is it's that one percent extra work that you put in. Yeah. Definitely. That's all it really comes down to. From from very young. I was such a hard worker as a as a honestly as a teen. Um yeah. and I didn't stop, honestly, because I always just wanted I wanted to be comfortable. I wanted mm. to be comfortable. I never wanted to stress about mm. you know, these these normal things. Of course, um, of course. So that's it. Which is a bit of a society sort of programming that they've uh over many generations and years of they've instilled into us. Mm -hmm. how, how have you found being, again, you sort of said at the start, like, you know, sort of a, not bad for a, someone that plays soccer of, as a girl, you know, but again, unfortunately that's the stigma. That's the, the world we live in being a woman in business and, and, and driving and showing determination. Have yeah. you found that challenging at times? Have you copped some hate? If you yeah. have, how did you handle it? that's probably been the most positive and negative part of this process. Um, I've had so many women message me saying like, good on you. Well like, done, yeah. because it, look, it does look like a masculine brand, let's say mm, um, mm. it's a woman behind it. Totally. And, um, it's a woman alone behind it. I've done point A to point Z. Um, <laughs> all of them. Yeah. So um, that was all me and I am so happy to be able to give some motivation to other women um, and other men as well. Absolutely. Um, no, absolutely. Oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, I've been super, super, super proud of what that's given other people. Flip side is um, I have seen jealousy and I have seen, I've had copped, uh, let's call it neg negativity, um, and that's been super disappointing. Um, but, you know, I definitely realise that's on those individuals and what they're not able to achieve or, or their mm, insecurity mm. or what it may be. Mm. And that's got nothing to do with me. But, um, you know, it is, is definitely, it definitely disappointing because um, there's a lot of work that goes behind mm. this. A lot of work, like I said, a lot of tears, my own money, my own time. This was not handed to me. This was your livelihood, your everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think one thing that, and you sort of see it a lot online, where they sort of say anyone that's doing more than you would never, you know, speak badly because they understand it's always people yeah. doing less than you. Yeah, they will always try and pull yeah. you back down to their level. No and one above you will try and push you down. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, you know, I. It's been such a, a gift to me to be able to help people out, mm. give advice. I don't. I've seen a lot of people, you know, you know, hold their secrets and not wanting to help people push Love forward. Yeah. And I will never understand that because mm. that's got nothing. Your journey, my journey is so super separate. What, what's in your bank account? Mine <laughs> is, you know, good on you. Absolutely. I'm good on you. So um, I will always share. I will yeah. always share. I will always give my secrets away um, because, you know, we're all running our own lane. So, Absolutely. you know, tap on mm. your back. Absolutely. You've got to think as well, like, ultimately like the secrets aren't secrets like they're out there they are out there they're and out like, there you know help, like they're not help people out 100 percent. let let everyone evolve like um you're not they're not taking anything from you uh so love that love that yeah. <laughs> yeah if you think about it as well it's like i think that's where you start to really build yeah you build like a cool name cool brand but you really start to build like a really good community around you like people that are genuinely yeah. helping for yeah. the right reasons connecting you with yeah. people putting you in the right spot <laughs> getting you to talk to this person, talk to that one. Hey, I've had a bad day, you know, try this yeah. to help you feel a bit better. Cause yeah. they're people who understand the journey and they've been definitely. on it themselves. Definitely, definitely. And I've loved that. I love that. I've gone through my trials and tribulations to save someone else. I don't True. wish that on you. If you, if you can avoid it through, through me doing it first, take it. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'll give that away. Absolutely. So I've, I've never, never, never thought twice, ever thought twice on giving information on you know, back, suppliers, yeah. 100%. Uh, you know, website design, whatever it may be. Take You're going to get like a thousand messages as soon as we launch this uh, episode. Everyone's like, so Angela, where did you, who's your supplier? Where did you get your marketing done? Where like, did you get your branding get done? But like <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. Like, what advice would you give to, to let, let's, 
more particularly the women. And I love what you said there about even, you know, inspiring the men and, in, you know, motivating them a little bit because we're all the same. Like we're all one. It's, you know, the, the more we speak about separation, there's always going to be a separation and a divide. Yeah. The mm -hmm. more we can just bring it all together and be like, well, I'm just inspiring people to start that business, quit that job, end that relationship, yeah. whatever. You know, yes. it's all about just giving back in a way. But what advice would you give to a, if, if there was men or women listening now and they're sitting on the fence or they're not too sure, like what would you say to them about starting a business? Um, it really depends. Unfortunately, you need to think about your financial situation, of course, and that is a difficult one. If you are working, um, set the time, set the time away instead of being on the social media for a couple of hours a night or... <laughs> You know, and, and, and watching your home and away, um, <laughs> put in that time. I I put in the time till not like my eyes were burning red <laughs> at night time, and I'm like typing away, negotiating, not making any sense. Um, and you know, you you got to do it. So it's not it's, it takes. It's not going to come. Everyone wants everything easy. Everyone wants to be you know up here when it starts from down here. So one step at a time spare the time mm. spare that um and you know put your, start putting your mind into it basically and it will all come Comes or you, and it, maybe it's just not time <laughs> true true i think as well i love what you said there like you know one step at a time it's and like we said like you got to get in the water like you got to yeah. well you know obviously the, i know you said you don't like swimming but you know i don't I know how try. to swim sorry i still try <laughs> you should try yeah, yeah doggy paddle it's all right um but you, you you've really got to get in the game you've got to get on the field you've got to get in the water whatever analogy you want to use like you've yeah. really got to get in it like you can do all the research you study all the things on at uni and online but mm -hmm. you speak to anyone that's just take, taking the jump and i said that was the best thing they ever did yeah and you it know? really really was i mean mm -hmm. i think it was you know only yesterday i was coming up my elevator and i was like this is it. This this is what I love. This is I love that I'm on my own time and I'm not checking in on anyone. And, <laughs> you know, it's a purpose for me to to have worked the many years that I did and in, in the industry that I did, but this suits me. Love that. <laughs> this suits me, and it's 100%. definitely motivation to keep going. And that's the thing is like when you find that sweet spot, then you'll do whatever you need to do to stay there. Yeah. You know, definitely. and then only continue to grow. Uh, yeah. I think it's a, the the positive thing there. What's one thing you wish you knew 10 years ago, Angela? Oh my goodness. Um, look, for me, for me, it's more on a personal level. Like I, I really have grinded a lot and I didn't um, look after myself enough. So like we were talking about the breaks, um, mm. I, I didn't do that. I, I, I will break when I broke. So yeah. <laughs> when I hit my absolute um, end is when I was forced to, you know, reset and take care of myself when you should always be doing that. You should Not really now always look after, you, you know, your brain and, and your body and your house. Um, I'm How do you do that at the moment? Like, do you have like a daily routine? Do you... You, like you said you're pescatarian. Is it around the yeah. diet? Like how do you um, for me, look I mean, after yourself? For me, I mean, I've got a doggy, Winston, who honestly forces me <laughs> to walk two or three times a day. Um, and that's my reset, you know, put my music in and um, out, out with fresh air and having a break, putting the phone away, just being disconnected for a little bit is a necessity for me. I love for that. Sure. When you walk and put your headphones in and listen to music, what's your favorite song that you listen to? <laughs> I have to go. I have to go into my songs. That was I a good transition, wasn't it? I really tied that in well, really didn't I? Was. I'm like, I'm hoping you forget. So about... you were thinking about it. That's why I thought about it. I'm not going to forget. I've got a piece of paper here. I've got two pieces of paper that tell me everything I need to ask, and they're all circled and highlighted. Yeah, um, I'm just going to throw out Rufus because it's the only thing. I just saw that they're coming next year and I'm just going to say Rufus. I love Rufus. That's all right. Rufus is good. <laughs> I'm going to let you get away with the artist instead of the actual song just this one time. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. And I love that. Look after yourself, walk, take breaks, yeah. eat well. I like yeah. it. What are your yeah. top three habits, daily habits that non-negotiable Angela does every single day? But coffee. yeah, help for your personal life, but also maybe professionally, like helps on both sides. Coffee. coffee. <laughs> I haven't even started. I haven't had it. Um, coffee. <laughs> I need a pep up in the morning. Um, walk, uh, walks, walks, definitely. Um, time out, away from the phone. Definitely. How did you do that at the start? 
Um, I, it, it just wasn't even a choice. I think I had to be on it so much mm. while I was developing this. It literally would make me sick. I mean, I started to get anxiety when it, when anything popped up. So yeah, that's yeah. when it just needs to go away and I can assess um, what's, what's popping up a bit later. So totally. um, to me, I was trying to track through everything and I, I absolutely overwhelmed myself yeah. Um, yeah. trying to cover everything off. So now nah, putting that away, having some me time, having my brain relax a little bit Agreed. Uh, is definitely important. The reason I asked that, like, how did you do it at the start is because I think I believe that most people know they need to spend less time on their phone, mm-hmm. but the way they developed and good on them for making it so engaging and so mm-hmm. a- attaching you like you don't want to put it down you know mm-hmm. um i think it does become a hard thing and it's definitely something that i've worked on myself a lot and a little trick for me don't know if it, if you've ever done it but i sometimes put my phone on airplane mode and yes. you almost forget after five minutes that you've done it and then you sort of yeah. you, your phone doesn't buzz because it's, it's not coming through like you're not getting messages. I do the same. there I you go so. yeah, airplane mode so. it is you know because you, yes. you, you you've you've forgotten that you've put it on airplane mode but then you're like, oh my phone's yeah. not Break my walls. Yeah. I can actually sit here and watch this movie. Yeah, for two hours. Because having it on silent, yeah, you can still see the little. It still lights up and it, yeah, yeah, it still comes yeah. up. So airplane yeah. mode is a nice little hack um, yes, to 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 start. I think definitely. Or put your put your phone on the back on, on your dog's collar and tell it to go for a run, and then you'll never see it again. Yeah, yeah. You need I love your phone. I love, I don't, I hate how reliant we are in it. So it's yeah. obviously a necessity in life, but um, I don't know if things get better when you sort of learn to not be so attached to it. Like nothing's that urgent. Um, exactly right. It's only once you put it away and you realize, oh, well, I got three emails, but the world didn't you know, end. My business didn't it. stop. So I'm yeah. okay to leave it for an hour or yes. 10 minutes or two hours. Mm. Yeah. I love when yeah. you go to a restaurant or you go out and about and there's like, a group of three or four friends and they're all just like sitting there at the table on their phones. I'm like, yeah. what are you doing, man? You've been in lockdown this whole time. Habit. Yeah, I stopped the habit a long time ago um, because it is, it's when you, you're that person on the outside watching, you're like, totally. be present. And anyone who knows me knows I will not answer the phone when I company. Yeah. So that's definitely something I practice. And um, mm. yeah. It's- it shows a level of respect, I think. It shows a level yeah. of... Like you said, like awareness and you're present in the moment, you're there. We're not fucking around mm-hmm. on our phones. We're not playing around like we're here. Yeah. I yeah. like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. What's your, how do you, you said earlier, the coffee pep, to, like pep talk, get you up and about. How do you talk mm-hmm. to yourself? Like what's your internal dialogue like? Because I've been asking this question recently with a lot of the guests I've had on the show because your, your voice is the only voice you hear 24-7. Like you're talking to yourself all the time. Mm-hmm. What is that internal dialogue like for you? And mm-hmm. not even, again, not from a business perspective when mm-hmm. you got to, get ready for a call or get ready to close a deal or whatever, or handling a, an upset customer, whatever it is, but even just mm-hmm. daily life, like get out to go for a walk or just feel a little bit better. Like what's your internal dialogue like? Um, it's, it's changed. Unfortunately, it was very negative, which again, maybe another secret. Um, it's very negative um, to me. I felt, I've always felt like I couldn't pep myself up because mm honestly looking the way I look or, or the perception that I have on social media I really felt like I had to downplay myself to not look up myself um and it wasn't really honestly doing this process of flow do I go you are a bomb like you are an awesome person um you've done so well like be proud mm. like you know pat yourself on the back and I've 100%. never done that I've never done that mm. um so it's not even to say I've achieved you know enormous things but I I'm still here and I'm still trying and um that's what you should be everyone should be kind to themselves and it's taken me unfortunately to my 30s to learn that one so um be good to you and you know again you will be good that that will then come out absolutely the better I treated myself the better things have gotten for me mm. I love that. The better you treated yourself, the better the things got for you out there. Yeah, on, I the, did. Out, on the outside world. A hundred percent did. People like can that. see that. Um, almost like how animals can sense things. Totally. <laughs> the world and the universe does too. Absolutely. So um, you really do attract what, what you put out there. I like it. Hey, your favorite book's The Alchemist. So it all sort of ties in yes. now as well. Yes. Better to yourself. Yeah. And the better love, it starts love, happening. I love that story. Yeah. A lot yeah. of uh, incredible little analogies in there, little moments in that yes. book to take yes. a lot from. Anyone who reads it. Um, and, and if you haven't read it, get it. 
Absolutely. It's yeah. so um, so important, especially in this day and age, if you, if you really do get those little analogies that are being passed on, it's life-changing. I feel like it's one of those books where you have to read it like three, four, five times. Yeah. Because yeah. it does, as you evolve, you read it differently, you see it differently. Because one thing I would say to anyone listening is if you haven't read in like 15 years since high school, don't go mm-hmm. and read The Alchemist first. Yeah. Read like an entry-level, you know, self-development book, learn the basics and then go there. Because it is... Like, it is pretty high, not high level, but it's yeah, it, it's deep. You you it, it, it gets you thinking, yeah, totally. Def- so ease definitely. into it, but definitely buy it and have it there on the bookshelf or on the on the yeah. bedside table, um, as as yeah. one to read. I agree. What other books yeah. have you read, Angela? It's been life changing. But... Sorry, next one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of self help. Um, yeah, that's I've merged now into um a, a lot of self help now. Nice. Um, and it's funny because just look, it's a lot of things we know. Um, it's just good reminders and, and good, yeah. um, just good to have. So I adore the sun and the beach, and I read a lot on um, in summer. Yeah. Um, so I don't know they're really good sort of reminders. I mean, I do love the audios as well, and mm, snoop, mm. but I have a lot of physical books there where I can intake and yeah, come back to and um, read again. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, Atomic Habits. Nice. And few other few other ones um for the brain i should so, I, should have, I should have pre-framed you and said hey i'm gonna ask you what are your best books that way you can have them all right next them. year i'll get them for you i um, love that no, yeah, no, good. a lot of a lot of stuff help um yeah within professional and, and, and personal but um yeah definitely it all always- ties in together like i think that's again where people get confused it's like well there's my personal life and there's my professional mm-hmm. life yeah like your, your business is not you and it's separate but mm-hmm. you're an extension of your business if you're a small business owner and if you you're feeling like shit really are Yes, that's it. You know, if you're that's feeling like shit, your business is not going to perform. If you're feeling great, well, then your business is going to be on fire. And you know? that's exactly what I've seen. When I dip, the business dips too because mm, I see? am business. So, um, you know, it, it, it will push if I'm pushing and it won't. Totally. If I'm doing yeah. well um, mm. mentally. So, yeah, you definitely need to always, totally. always, always look after yourself. I like that. I guess it, it does really put on that strong emphasis of why self-development like you said even if you've heard it all before or you, you're just hearing it in a different way you're hearing it in a different state you're in a different position you've learned something you've you've stuffed up something and you've you've mm-hmm. taken that learning you're now at a different level so to say when you're taking yeah. that new content in so i think it's always a yeah you can never stop learning i hate people when they said oh, i've read all the books i listen nah. to all the audio i know everything i was like do you really i think yeah. the more you read the, the more you realize you don't know everything yeah definitely the and more that's you learn yeah been really really interesting to when I pick up some of these books, I'm like, I know exactly what you're talking about. But if I read this two years ago, I wouldn't have <laughs> anything. This would have been totally. jumped for me. So it wouldn't have made sense. Yeah, it wouldn't have connected. You don't stop. Totally. You don't ever, 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 ever stop that. learning and growing for sure. Hundred percent. I, I, I like. I love the humility. I love the the honesty, the rawness, and the just down to earth. Like it's this is how it is. This is where I've been. This is what I'm going through. This is where I'm going. Yeah. This is how I've done it you know, reach out. Like, I love that. Like, it's just normal person. Like, I'll, yeah. I think it's great if we can get more of those sort of, it sounds silly to say, can we just have more normal people? But it doesn't it's need to be a facade. True. You know what no, I mean? And this is, you know, very, very difficult. Um, with social media, I was someone who didn't exist two years ago on social media. Um, and so I really used it as a platform, honestly, to push flow. That was yeah. always my my plan yeah um and saying that it is an image you know and, and it is something that you you put out there and i get judged a lot for that um so when you do speak to me you're just like ah oh, like you're normal <laughs> <laughs> well, you're right. i love that um, yeah you're all right you're a normal person well what did you think i was <laughs> totally don't make a judgment so it's a massive compliment when yeah, i, when I, I uh, when i get that <laughs> when you meet people and it's like oh my god you're a real normal person angela it's like yes, well yeah <laughs> yes what else come on <laughs> love that love that again like i said you're going to get everyone messaging you asking you about who your suppliers are everyone's going to start reaching out and they're all going to like stalk you and find you and they're like oh my god you're a normal I'm person book. i'm a fairly open book <laughs> i love that no nah, thank you again hey this has been great thanks so much for making some time to um have a bit of a chat and talk a little bit about flow um <laughs> i appreciate it I'm sure the listeners appreciate it uh, too. One last question from from me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, again, like I said, I appreciate the the time that you've made to be here. If I said to you, Angela, um, what does be great mean to you and be great in your world? Like, what does it mean to you? Being great? Yeah, be great. Be great. 
um, to me is being happy with what you see in the mirror. Um, and that's what I, you know, aim for every every day and every month and every year. I'm more and more proud of who I am and what I am and what I give. Um, and that's what I practice. I love that. Infinity. Be happy with what be, you see in the mirror. Be I like good. It. Be, 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 be good is always been my motto. Like just be good, be good, be kind, do good. Um, it will come back to you and it will come back to everyone else in this universe. Like just be good. <laughs> there's, there's nothing to lose. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. After this last hour of talk, all I'm going to say is be good. Like that's all, that ties it's in everything. It's so simple. It's so simple. Two words. I like it. I like it, but it is a good model. Like in everything you do, every time you turn up to something, if you go into it with that attitude, that positive attitude, whether it's exercising, whether it's a meeting, whether it's personal relationships, whatever it is, yeah, if you go into it with that attitude, you're always going to get the result you want or get that decent result, get that good result, get that great result. Truly I believe like it. I like it. I like it. Angela, thank you so much. Where's the best spot for people? to learn more about flow also get themselves from flow or where should they be following you the brand where's the best spot for that um we've got instagram which is flowvape.au um or www.flowvape.com.au is where you can get some more info and obviously purchase we'll be at our wood market actually in two nice. weeks time. 21st of November, um, Albert um, Park. So if you actually want to meet me, um, see the product, try the product, get information from me, we're going to be there. Did you say November 21st? Yes, November Perfect. 21st Got it. at Ormond Esplanade, Albert Park. I'll Albert. be there. Albert Market, Albert Park. Love yeah. it, love it. Well, hey, congratulations from me on everything so far. I know it's only the beginning. I know you've had a lot of challenges, speed humps and hurdles to get over, but I think now that you've figured it out you've got the blueprint you know what you're doing I, I, now especially coming out of lockdown too mm -hmm. i'm really excited to see where this goes um definitely agree there's a massive market in the vape space everyone's more conscious around health and wealth so well done to tie those two things together um and provide a provide a product that people can benefit from ultimately you know what i mean yes. yeah cool well fun and good for you absolutely i like it well hey thank you so much for making some time today thank you, uh, and thank you to everyone else who tuned in today and we will catch you on the next episode bye for now